Okay, so I'm Daphne Bullesbach. I work for an organization called European Alternatives. It's a European-wide network of activists and people who are active on the ground, but also in national and international translocal networks. And uh, I'm based myself in Berlin. Me, I remember quite well the, the I was following, in fact, from Berlin the elections of, of Ara Kalau with a few friends. And I think for me it's true that I, it was maybe the first time that I followed uh, the results or the, the elections of, uh, of cities uh, or of municipal elections in another country as someone who's not uh, from Spain because I, I was very intrigued in the campaigning. I have a lot of Spanish friends, so I, I was following, of course, what was going on. But, but still, I, we felt in being in Berlin that, wow, this is really representing a change because it's not a small city, of course, Barcelona, neither Madrid. Uh, it's, it's, they are important cities who are taking over by an experience which really breaks with the status quo. Yeah, so I'm from Berlin. I lived there since eight years, but I'm not originally from Berlin. Berlin uh, has recently changed the government. We have now a government coalition which is run by a red-red-green coalition, so I think we've become maybe more, uh, more fearless than we were before, where we had a different government, a, a grand coalition government between the Conservatives and the Social Democrats. I think, uh, yes, there are parts of Berlin that are fearless. I think we have a very strong uh, uh, civil society movement uh, of, uh, I think, most of all, of also of housing, which I think is a big question, and, um, and of how we manage uh, social housing and how we are uh, managing access and rent caps and so on. I think this, this represents, for me, the strongest part of fearless cities. I think for me, municipalism is mainly about uh, um, collaboration and solidarity and understanding that the city uh, represents a space where um, we humans or citizens of that, of that space need to commonly manage our, or need to learn and understand to commonly manage our resources. And, um, and, uh, and, that, and that there are ways to democratically uh, govern a city uh, beyond what we what we see in many of our cities that are moving in the direction of mainly being um, uh, where foreign where foreign investment is kind of overtaking management of parts of our cities because we don't we don't own anymore the houses where we live and so on. So for me, municipalism is is a is a methodology and and an idea of how we can go back as citizens to take back our resources and our common space and understand how we live together in um, in the city.